Hello and welcome, are we okay? In this video we're going to be taking a look at all the birds at the moment and how they're doing. We're going to be taking a quick look at the, the past breeding season 2018. We're going to look at babies and we're going to have a special look at the new additions to the family. We've got two lovely African greys that I've recently adopted. That's why I've been so busy and not been able to do so many update videos lately. Uh, so let's get cracking with the video. So here we are again, another update video, sorry again for the delay, but uh, you'll understand why later in the video. But anyway, let's take a quick look at the box parakeets and uh, some of the lovely colours uh, on this one. All the birds are doing fine by the way. We have a new box parakeet baby, this one is from the Rosa and the Split for Blue Female. Only one baby, but uh, it's doing well. And with the changes coming up in the future, with uh, me wanting to divide the budgie and cockatiel Avery into and have golden finches, parakeets and other birds in the flight extension, I've made the tough choice to let the cockatiels go and uh, all the budgies that were in the Avery and don't worry I'm gonna have budgies in the original budgie Avery and it's gonna be full of lovely beautiful uh, baby budgies uh, from this year from a variety of breeders some from the pet shop and a lot of my own The birds in the bird room are fine, most of the birds are, are resting now. I need to do a big uh, clean out and uh, fix the cages properly onto the walls. So there's some quite big changes coming up obviously. Rehoming the cockatiels and the budgies in the aviary is quite a big thing. Uh, but uh, we, we're always going to have budgies. Budgies are always going to be at the forefront of the channel and, uh, and my hobby, my bird keeping hobby. Uh, Mango's doing well and we'll always have uh, bird room updates even so I think going into winter now that it's getting a bit cooler I can actually get in there and look about with the birds. But that's enough about the, the future plans and possibilities. Uh, let's uh, focus on uh, what's been going on the past few weeks. Uh, not too long ago I was informed that there was uh, at least one African grey parrot that needed a new home from the animal center at work so I went over there spent uh, all my lunch time with the with the parrots there's two parrots uh, Jambo and Suki both girls and I slowly <laughs> fell in love with them and uh, I've ended up uh, adopting both of them so let's uh, let's take a look back uh, this is uh, a few weeks ago obviously if you're serious about taking on uh, parrots it's uh, essential to spend as much time with them as possible even if you're just in the same room as them so that they consider you uh, friendly and you can start to build a, a bond with them Jambo and Suki are very special birds uh, they're not bonded but they have a, a, a funny relationship they uh, they do like to uh, they do like each other's company they do like to muck about with each other a little bit they do like to do the the beat locking thing they don't hurt each other but they've been together a long time uh, at least sort of 10 years i think they've been Hello. together in the in the animal center and uh, they have got a very nice relationship and uh, that's why i ended up adopting them both taking them both home i i didn't really want to take two but it just made perfect sense that if I was going to take one of them I, I may as well take the other one and then they can stay together and then they can keep each other company they, they like to talk to each other, they copy each other they keep each other entertained 
and amused uh, so I think it was essential that they if they did go somewhere that they went together and I was more than happy to accommodate and uh, take them both on if I remember correctly I mean when I went over there I would get bombarded with information which is good because it's good to know as much as possible about the birds but whenever I was over there I was just completely focused on the birds so if I remember correctly I may have to correct this but they were uh, both uh, smuggled or tried to be smuggled into the country they're wild uh, caught uh, from babies possibly and the Heathrow Centre uh, took them on and then they were transferred to the animal centre where I work so it's such an amazing opportunity to take on two birds that need rehoming two lovely birds like uh, Jambo and Suki that need uh, looking after they don't need a lot of attention but they do they do like attention and they do like to talk to each other and keep each other entertained as well so it works out perfect for me and uh, yeah I think it's it's worked out very well so this is just the last uh, few days of them in the animal center just chilling out in their cages and after many weeks of uh, video watching and researching and cage hunting uh, I finally brought them home so this is the first day obviously all I, all I was focused on and all that the birds really needed was just to settle in their new environment so a minimalistic cage set up no toys at this point just perches and food and water just uh, to get them uh, accustomed and not give them too much things that can possibly disturb them or frighten them because parrots especially African greys are quite sensitive so they seem quite happy just perching and eating and settling in And this is the second day, the second day I just focused on just being in the room and just uh, talking to them a little bit and just trying to keep them used to me. And I think you can see they, they're already quite settled. So it's very good progress. Obviously spending time with them two weeks prior to taking them home has uh, helped quite a lot. No loud noises. And this was a nice video of them settling down just before bed. You can see they're both, uh, it's like someone's put a mirror there. It's a very cute video. And day three, I, uh, I went for it. I decided to let them out of their cages and see what, they, what would happen. I, I thought uh, they seemed quite settled already, doing? so I thought I would keep the momentum going and let them out of the cages so just a few days after them being home you can see they're quite used to being out of the cage in the animal center so it makes sense that they're happy to be out of the cage at least for a little bit and this makes me laugh every time I notice that uh, Suki likes to do some uh, pull-ups uh, on her cage on the door there on the door frame uh, <laughs> keeps her fit I guess what are you doing Suk? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? and then this is uh, on Saturday day, just uh, six days after taking them home now we decide to give uh, give them a little bit of a shower I noticed that Suki is uh, she's got a little bit of a, a malt going on she's got a few pins coming through so I decided to give her a spray and she has quite a funny reaction it's quite funny to watch <laughs> And then this week I've just been, I've got the PlayStation 4 in there, got the spare telly in there and I've just been chilling, spending time with them and uh, seeing what happens. So let's take a listen. Jumbo. 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 Jump. Jumbo.
Jumbo. What's your name? Jumbo. <laughs> Hello. Jumbo. Jumbo. <laughs> Here's a look at their cages today. Very good cages uh, purchased from Zoo Plus. I'll put the link to the cages in the description on YouTube. I just want to take this time now to thank uh, the animal, everyone at the animal care center, the animal care team, uh, especially Rob as well for uh, getting in touch with me about them in the first place Hello, and baby. everyone's just been so supportive. Hello. They made a, one of the a dream of mine mm -hmm. come true. I've always wanted uh, a parrot ever doing, since baby? I was a kid, but mm -hmm. they're quite expensive and they Hello. take a lot of time and effort and care. But these two birds, I've fallen in love with them. I, I rush home from work and I literally just spend every second that I can with them. I love them to bits. So uh, a big thank you and a thank you to my wife as well for letting me take over the spare room. And she loves them as well. She even likes to go in there at night Shower and say, time. have a little chat Shower to him time. and say night night and stuff Shower like time. that. And I just yeah, absolutely love them to bits and I hope that they have a, a long and happy life uh, with you us. You want more? Yeah? You want more? Woo! You want more? More shower? Woo! <laughs> And as for the long term, well, obviously the the room is a little bit small, and I think they need a bit more space to muck about and play with each other and play with toys and things, and just have a bit more space to fly and things like that. So this is the aviary that I've decided. I've already purchased it. I just need to build it. It's not quite this one. Uh, the one I've got is six foot by six foot, and it's eight foot tall, so quite big, and it's just going to be their space to muck about in. And apparently I'm only allowed so much of the garden to build aviaries, which is crazy if you ask me, but I guess it's fair, we actually need a garden. So uh, unfortunately the red rumps have uh, been rehomed, uh, a nice lady took them and she put them in a, quite a big flight, a lot bigger actually than the one they've been in. They weren't really happy in that flight anyway. The zebra finches are in the cage for now and they're going into the extension which is on the side of the budgie aviary. So uh, here we can see just taking down uh, the zebra finch and the red rump flight. Yeah this is where the new parrot aviary is going to be and it will mainly be for especially in summer at the weekends just to, to let them well that's the plan anyway, uh, to let them out in the aviary and have a fly about. And with uh, the breeding season for the budgies and most of the birds actually coming to a close I thought I'd just do a, a little compilation of some of my uh, favourite uh, babies, baby budgies from this year and a lot of them ended up being keepers. I had some really lovely and varied colours so uh, let's take a little look at some of my favourite babies from this year. And I'm just going to do a little tribute to the, the budgie and cockatiel aviary, well the birds that were in there anyway. 
so uh, here's some of my uh, favourite clips of the birds in the aviary from this year So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's been quite a long one, lots of information to take in, if you're confused, I'm even more confused, <laughs> I can guarantee you, lots of things to plan out and uh, think about in the coming months, but there will be plenty of videos, I can assure you, in the coming months, and I sometimes forget about the Bengalese finches, but they've done really well, they've probably done uh, the best out of all the birds really, considering there's only sort of five or six uh, females in there they've had about 12 or 13 babies they've done really well considering the heat uh, this summer it's been so hot that a lot of the birds have struggled but the society finches have done really well so they're going to be staying in there with some of the parakeets uh, for next year so that's uh, really good so what I'm going to do now is just leave you with some footage of the parrots uh, thanks a lot for watching guys if you're new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe helps a lot and if you've enjoyed the video hit the like button anyway and maybe leave a few comments uh, in the comment section below uh, thanks a lot for watching take it easy look after yourself and i'll see you next time So this is, this is Suki. Hello Suki Baba, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. You nice and quiet after your food. Mm -hmm. Hello Baba, hello Suki. Don't feed the camera. <laughs> this is Jambo. Hello Jambo. Jambo. Jumbo's been shy. Like a jumbo. Mm -hmm. Hello, Jumbo.